Hello everyone, Scott Kruger here with Way of Water Arts and today we are making this video to help you reduce your anxiety by using belly breathing. Belly breathing can be also referred to as diaphragmatic breathing or we can use the term qi gong and qi gong translates into a breathing exercise or breathing tool. So today we are trying to help you to reduce your anxiety. More specifically, I'm making this video for my final project to get my master's degree in nursing education. And this correlates with some of the test taking strategies that I'm teaching you to help you improve your test scores reduce your testing anxiety, and to give you a tool that you can actually use whenever you're feeling anxious. So it's important to realize first that breathing is under two possible controls. The first control that we talk about is involuntary control. And what that means is that you don't have to think to breathe it's automatically done within your central nervous system of course to you know facilitate gas exchange oxygen going in and then carbon dioxide going out now the other way that you can control your breathing is under voluntary control so what that means is that you can consciously think about breathing and use it to your advantage. So one of the first things I would definitely encourage you to do is recognize when you're feeling anxious. And of course, since this is related to our test taking strategy, we all know that the amount of tests that we have to do in nursing school, they can be really tough, they can be really intense, and they can really produce some feelings of anxiety. So the first thing I would encourage you to do next is to just become aware of your breathing. Just recognize where your breathing is centering from. A lot of times people think that when they're breathing, it starts in the nose or the mouth. What we want to try and get our breathing to center from is from our belly. So I would encourage you to find a comfortable position. Uh, I would definitely ask that you practice this a couple times before you use it, before a test. And you can actually use this, you know, before a test to help you center yourself, help reduce that anxiety. But then you can also use this while you're taking the test. And the group of students that I'm gonna be working with you're all working on your master's degree as well. So there's gonna be uh, quite a few tests. I believe each week there's gonna be a quiz that we're gonna have to do for this advanced pathophysi pathophysiology class. So once again, you just wanna start in a comfortable position and just start to become aware. Become aware of where you're breathing from. Sometimes it may help to close your eyes so that you can reduce the external stimuli. So right now, I'm just feeling that, probably about midway here, I'm definitely using a little bit of my uh, mid chest here. I'm trying to center that breath lower and lower. So right now I'm just being aware And you'll find that the deeper you start to go into a state of relaxation, the easier it is to start to feel that that breath is coming from your belly. So next step here, we can put our hands over our belly and that will really give us a cue to where we want that breath 
being initiated from. Now the goal here is to try and feel that when you're breathing in, the belly comes out, it expands. And what's actually going on with your diaphragm when you're doing that, when you're breathing in, belly goes out, your diaphragm is actually contracting. Diaphragm's contracting. So take a couple breaths here. See if you can really start to engage that belly to help improve our oxygenation, get more oxygen to your brain, to your body. And then when you exhale, you should feel your stomach go down. Exhaling, stomach goes down, your diaphragm is relaxing, diaphragm relaxing. So we're expiring, we're getting out all that CO2. Now one of the key qigong principles with belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, is you want to have your inspiration equal the exact length of your exhalation. So you want inspiration and exhalation balanced. So take a couple breaths here using your belly. Feel your belly expand diaphragm contracts. When you exhale, belly goes down, diaphragm relaxes. Now there's one other key point that I want to hit on, and that is in between the breaths, in between exhalation and inhalation. You want to work on not holding your breath. So what that means is, once you inhale, when you're at your maximum, exhale. And you can try to practice with exhaling with your mouth. So when we breathe in, air goes through the nose. Belly expands, that's your diaphragm contracting. As we exhale, you can try and exhale through your mouth and see if that feels more comfortable or more um, allows you to focus. The key here is we want to reduce your anxiety. And then you wanna try to eliminate the pauses in between inhalation and exhalation, and then exhalation going into inhalation. So we'll take a couple more belly breaths here. Now what this does on a pathophysiological level is when we're using our belly breathing, it helps to stimulate our parasymp parasympathetic nervous system response. And we all remember from anatomy and physiology, our parasympathetic nervous system correlates with resting and digesting. So when, as you try to get more and more into that rest and digest mode, that really helps slow things down. We slow our breath down, slow our heart rate down. And over time that can actually help reduce blood pressure as well. And we all know that with tests, sometimes if we're not well prepared or we just get these overwhelming feelings of anxiety that can actually stimulate your sympathetic nervous response. And we all know that that's our fight or flight. In our fight or flight mode, heart rate goes up, respirations goes up, and then of course that's going to possibly elevate your blood pressure. So with our belly breathing, we really want to trigger that rest and digest mode so that you can focus, reduce your anxiety, and then get a, get a good grade so that you can pass your class. 
I want to thank you all for joining me in my YouTube video today. I hope that this helps you to improve your test scores, reduce your testing anxiety, so that you can meet all of your goals and be successful. Thank you so much.